Hi, welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So we're going to do an example of a Turing machine and uh, simulating an input on that Turing machine. So this is a famous example. If you look at the Sipser textbook, you'll see this example all the time. Um, so this machine will have uh, technically seven states, but we're going to only write six of them. And we'll see why we're going to do that in a second. So I'm going to have these six states. So remember that there's a Q accept state. That was terrible. There's a Q accept state and a Q reject state in a Turing machine. The thing I forgot to mention before was that the accept and the reject state have to be different states for obvious reasons. So what are the transitions in this thing going to look like? Well, they're going to look like this. So in this case, this transition is going to look like this. And what does it mean? It means that if we see a zero off of the, the, the tape at the particular cell we're looking at, then we're going to immediately turn it into that same cell into a blank symbol. So remember, that's the special symbol on the tape. Or there could be other ones, I guess, but this is one of them. And we're going to move the tape head right one position. Okay. So at the very beginning, for example, if there's a zero right at the very beginning, we're going to turn it into a blank symbol and then move to the second position. All right, so what other things could we have? Well, the, we're going to have a self loop right here, which is going to be a transition that looks like this, and it's not exactly the same as the one over here. But what it means is, if we see an X on the tape at all, then we're going to, I guess, turn it into an X, but we're not changing the contents of that cell. We're going to write an X into that cell, but we're not going to uh, change it to anything else. It's going to be exactly the same as it was before. So in some sense, what this transition is doing is, if you see an X, skip over it, uh, in effect. You're, you are writing an X there, but you are effectively just skipping over it. Okay, uh, let me turn off that. Okay, so then what are some other transitions in this thing? We're going to have a transition that looks like this and this. So again, we have the skipping over thing. Uh, we're going to have a transition coming down here, which is instead of x going to right here, we're, every time we see a 0 from q2, we're just going to skip over it uh, and go over to q3. So what is q3 going to do? It's going to come back up to here and have a transition that converts and a zero, whatever it's, whenever it sees a zero, it converts it to an X. Uh, it, from Q2, we could have, we're gonna have a transition to Q4, which is gonna be blank goes to left. So this is the first left that we've seen. All the other ones have a right move on them. So if we want to have something that is a non-regular language, which this one is, uh, we need to have some lefts because we need to look at previous contents anyway. Um, Q4 is going to have a self loop on two things. It's going to be zero goes to left, so skip over the zeros but go left in, instead of right. And then we're going to also have x going to left. And then coming back up to here on blank goes to right. And then finally, the last transition is this one. Okay, so it, it, yeah, so in this case, Q1, if, we, if we're in Q1 and we see a blank symbol, we just skip over it and go over to Q accept and then immediately accept the input. You may think, okay, well, where's the, the reject state in this thing? Then the, one, the way to actually handle this is to, we could put all transitions in, but that's kind of complicated and it's not really that productive because all the other transitions are going to reject anyway. So the way to fix this is to say all unwritten transitions go to Q reject. Okay, and so there are plenty of them here. So like if we have say an X because that can appear on the tape, but from Q zero, then that's going to go to the reject state. Or if we have a blank in the first cell from Q0, then we're going to go to the reject state also. And some other ones over here, but I'm not going to fill them all in. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to simulate 
uh, a certain input on this uh, Turing machine. So let's just say we have the input of four zeros. Okay, so in order to figure out what the machine's gonna actually do, we have to keep track of what the contents of the tape are because at every point we could be changing the contents of the things on the tape and the only way to know of whether we go to accept or not is to also record what state we're in as well as the contents of the tape. So we need to know not only what the state is at the current moment, what the tape contents are, but also where the tape head is because the tape head being at a certain position on the tape may cause us to take this transition or the one to go into queue reject. So the position of the tape head is also really important. So when we start up a Turing machine, we are always positioned at the very first cell on the tape. So the way that this is written is the tape looks like this. So the left-hand end is right here on this first zero. So whenever we're going to be simulating this, we need to start at that first zero. That's what the cell we're looking at is. So uh, here, that's what we're going to do. But I'm also going to record what the state is at that current moment. So we're going to, the way that I'm going to write this is I'm going to put the state name under the cell that we are uh, currently looking at. So uh, by writing Q0 here, I'm at this cell on the tape and I'm in state Q0. So it captures all the info that we need. We have the tape contents here currently. We have the, the, the where the tape head is and what state we're in. Okay, so this is saying, look in Q0 and we see a zero on the tape. Well, by golly, we got a transition right there. So the way that we're gonna fix uh, write this now is that this is going to yield, so the word yield is going to come back here. And then we notice that this transition will change the zero to a blank symbol. So this cell is going to change to a blank symbol. And we're going to move right. So the next position we're going to be looking at is the second one. And we're going to be in state Q1 because that's where the, the transition goes to. So we're going to have blank because that cell got changed. And then three zeros. The, the zeros over here have not been changed. Only the cell under where the tape head is could possibly change. And then we're going to be in state Q1 now. So we're at Q1 right now. And let, let me, uh, okay. So we're in Q1 right now. And we, we're looking at a zero. Well, let's see. Are, is there a transition from Q1 on input zero? And by golly, there is. So it's saying change this zero to an X the one that we're looking at, and move right. So what we're going to have is we're still going to have four uh, uh, cells on the tape, but this second one is going to change to an X because that's what the transition said to do. The, we still have two zeros over here because they haven't been changed. We moved right on this transition, so this cell, instead of being at the second cell, we're at the third one now and we're looking at, we're in state Q2 at that point. So here I'm gonna have Q2. That's the cell I'm looking at right now. Okay, uh, so what do we do now? Well, we need to figure out what Q2 does it, when it's looking at a zero. So it doesn't matter for the sake of applying a single transition uh, what the contents around the cell we're looking at are. But it does matter in a more global context because it could be that um, maybe we'll come back to Q2 at some other point and this cell will be an X, possibly. So it is dependent in some sense on the contents around here, but not directly. Okay, so Q2 looking at a zero. There's obviously a transition right here and it says, don't change the contents of the cell and just skip over it. Just skip right. And then move down to Q3. So the blank in the beginning is the same. The X is the same. The cell where the zero was um, is still going to be a zero. There's still a zero over here because I haven't changed it yet. It's said to move right. Oops, wrong color. So then 
we're going to be in Q3 looking at that cell right there because it said to move right and we didn't change this cell because it didn't say to change it. Okay, we're in Q3 now and it's, do we have a transition? So we're in Q3 looking at a zero. Is there a transition from Q3 on input zero? And yes, there is. It says to change the zero to an X and move right. Okay, so then what are we gonna do here? We're going to have a blank X zero because those never changed. The, this zero changed to an X, and then we moved right. Remember the behavior of a Turing machine is if we go past the end of what we're currently storing, we're going to acquire a new blank symbol every single time. So I'm gonna acquire a blank symbol. So that, that cell is completely new now. And it's said to go back to, up to Q2. So I'm going to be in Q2 in this state. Uh, sorry, looking at this cell. Okay, well, is there a transition from Q2 reading a blank symbol? And yes, there is. It's this one right here going over to Q4. And it says, don't change the contents of the cell and just move left. Just skip, just go backward and don't change it. So what we're going to have is uh, the first four cells, are, again, are going to be the same. And uh, the blank symbol didn't change because the transition said don't change it, this transition right here. And it said just move left and go over to Q4. So I'm going to be looking at this state, this cell right here because we were at the fifth one and then now we're at the fourth one because we moved left to one position. Okay, then in Q4, do we have a, uh, a transition involving X? And it says, yeah, just skip over it, moving left. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have blank. So, so the contents of the, the tape are gonna be exactly the same, except now we're just gonna stay in Q4 and keep moving left. And what we can actually see is that it's just gonna skip over all of the X's and the zeros here. So in fact, we could, write a few more uh, uh, situations of the Turing machine. Uh, here, this next one is gonna have the same contents, but instead of being at this zero right here, we're gonna be at looking at this X because we moved left. So Q4 is gonna be here. And then we're gonna have another one like that because we, again, have a transition from Q4 on itself reading an X and just skipping over it. Oops. So we're gonna have something that looks like this. So the tape contents are exactly the same. And the Q4 is gonna be right here now. So then what are we gonna do in this state right here? Q4 looking at a blank symbol. Well, it says, if you're in Q4 reading a blank symbol, you go up to Q1 and move right. Okay, so, so what are we gonna do here? So we're going to move right now and go over to, to state Q1. So the, the tape contents are the same, except now we're in a different state and a different cell. So Q1 right here. So Q1 looking at an X, what can we do? So Q1 looking at an X has this uh, self loop right here and just skips past it. So we're just gonna skip right past that guy. So the, again, the contents of the tape are exactly the same, no difference. And uh, what cell are we looking at? We were looking at this one, and now we're looking at this one. It was a self loop on Q1. So here I'm gonna be in Q1 right here, okay? So then if we're reading a zero in Q1, we know what to do. We zoom over to Q2 right here. So we're in Q2. Uh, after changing this thing to an X. So now the tape contents actually did change. So we will have blank X, those didn't change, but this zero did change to an X. The, the fourth X, sorry, the fourth cell, the third X did not change. And we zoomed over to Q2 and moved right. Uh, so this may be a little fast, so uh, if this is too fast for you, make sure to pause and re-watch some of the video because I, I know there's like multiple things you gotta keep track of here. So this transition moved right, so we're gonna, gonna be looking at the fourth cell. 
We were in Q1, so now we're going to be in Q2 because that's where the transition went. This zero changed to an X because that's what the transition said to do. Okay, so what does the Q2 state do on X? Let's see. So Q2 will just self-loop on input X and just, uh, just zoom past it. So we're going to uh, zoom past this guy. So again, the contents of the tape are exactly the same. And we self-looped, so we're going to be, we moved right. And then now we're going to do something similar that we did already, which is when we saw Q2 with a blank, we're going to, we're going to uh, come over to here, move right. So no, uh, sorry, move left. Uh, th this transition is this one. I'm looking at this one right here, which is we're going to be moving left. So, and moving to Q4. So instead of this cell, we're going to be looking at the fourth one. So we're going to have the exact same tape contents. Except now we're going to be in Q4 at the fourth cell. And to, purely for time interest, we can already see what's going to happen, which is that because we have a bunch of X's right here, Q4 is just going to move left over all of those. So I'm just going to and not change any of the contents. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip over those. And eventually we're going to be in Q4 looking at that first blank symbol. So blank X, 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 uh, blank. And we're going to be in Q4 uh, right here. So what are we going to do? The, remember what Q4 did on blank. It moved up to Q1 and moved right. So we're going to be uh, doing this. So the tape contents, again, are exactly the same as before. But now the we're going to be in Q1 looking at that cell, at the second one. And we know what Q1 is going to do on X's. It's just going to zoom over all of them uh, and not change any of their contents. So purely for time reasons and our sanity, I'm just going to skip over those. And eventually we're going to have the same tape contents because these self loops didn't change anything. And we're going to be in Q1 looking at that cell because we zoomed over all of the X's. So what does Q1 do on the blank symbol? It says, oh, just skip over it and go over to Q accept. And then obviously we'll accept the input. But it's important to write the very last uh, situation of the Turing machine. So here we're going to have blank x, 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 blank, because those didn't change. We moved right, so we're going to acquire a new blank symbol. So that, that one's completely new. And we're going to be in Q accept in that state, because the transition said to go there. And the machine will stop now because we're in one of the two special states, in this case Q accept. So we can say then, that the machine accepts four zeros. So the, the string with four zeros in it will be accepted. Okay, I know that was really, really long, but uh, th that's a proof that it accepts exactly four zeros. But can you actually look at this machine and try to understand its behavior? Because uh, maybe then we can try to get some insight into how the machine actually works. So I'm interested if you have any responses, put them into the comments down below. So thanks for watching. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Put any comments or questions about Turing machines into the comments down below. I'm always reading them and answering them. There are many other links in the video description if, we, if you want to support the channel further. I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions. So if you want some tutoring, um, please contact me at the email in the, in the video description. And as always, I'll see you next time.